All right, I figured since we're sharing uh, pictures of shop odds, I would do a little video of mine and give you a walkthrough. Uh, so this one is a 2008 uh, era PRS standard, or at least started life as a PRS standard. Um, I'll call it the PRS high voltage, but you'll see why in a minute. Uh, I've done some modifications to this one. So I added uh, an eight zone vacuum table. This is a mixture of my design and some ideas I got on the forum. Um, but basically I've got eight 24 inch by 24 inch uh, zones. And I can control those zones uh, by this set of eight valves here. And the way the valves are set up is the valves that are closer to you or the zones that are uh, nearer to you on the table. And the ones that are farther away represents the zones that are in the back of the table. Um, I also have four uh, 220 Lighthouse motors um, mounted down here in a vac box. So basically I can have as many of these motors directed to any combination of these zones that I want. This works out pretty good. If I'm cutting along, I can kind of kill zones and pull parts off, or I can direct a whole lot of suction at one zone if I'm working on a small part. Uh, so the modifications I've done, this, uh, this ShopBot came with the V4G control system. This was not an RBK ShopBot, so it had the older, uh, um, the older style, style controller on it, which I ran up until very recently, and I upgraded to one of Gary's resurrection kits, but um, it's a little bit modified, and I'll show you um, what I mean. So if you're keen-eyed, you probably notice the different uh, stepper motors here. So these are... Uh, uh, lead shine stepping motors. Um, I'll get all the specs if you guys want, but they're on belt boxes that Gary designed. And basically, this uh, so you get this nice stout stepper motor uh, drives this belt, and Gary's able to customize the um, amount of gear reduction you have. So we figured out what type of stuff I cut, and we picked a you know gear reduction that worked um, really well for me. And what's neat is these mount up to the same. Uh, mounts as the PRS motor, except you have to just drill in the back here, you have to drill and tap one hole, but all the other three bolts uh, line up just fine. Um, so it's pretty easy to install. I've got them on my uh, X and uh, Z, and it's a little hard to see here, but also my Y. So they're all, um, they're all gear reduced. So let's push this back here and I'll take you around to the, the fun part. So in upgrading, I kind of remounted my controllers and everything. I used to have my old control box mounted uh, shamefully on these two by sixes. Uh, but now this is how everything is set up. I got some uh, cable strut here and made up a little frame and uh, some verticals to get everything mounted. Um, I still got a little cleanup to do, but it's, uh, it's pretty much done. Uh, spindle controller over there and this big dustproof NEMA enclosure. And I'll show you how this thing works. So just to give you an idea of what kind of an upgrade this is, um, this is a Gecko stepper driver. These are one of my uh, stepper drivers out of my um, V4G. And if we open this box here, you're going to see quite a difference. This is the control box. Uh, just waiting for a new uh, mount uh, for this, but it's a ShopBot RBK card. Uh, standard ShopBot controller, all of the other bits here, um, all, all stuff that uh, Gary designed and put in. And then in the bottom, it's hard to see here, but there's, um, he set up all the user connections and labeled everything, so it was actually pretty easy to uh, set this all up. And just to give you an idea of the, the power increase that I have with this particular setup, uh, that's the old stepper driver, and these are the new ones. So they're pretty, uh, they're pretty big. But let's fire it up and uh, and see how it runs. So we'll go ahead here and uh, close up the box. This. And what's nice too is the um, VFD power is routed through this control box. So let's see if I can do this all with one hand. So we'll turn this on. Lock up the steppers. VFD comes on, and we are ready to roll. Let's go over here and reconnect the ShopBot. All right. Jog it off our proc switches, do a little bit of this. So some of the work, I do a lot of uh, cutting of acrylic and HDPE and a fair amount of plywood as well. And on my HDPE jobs, um, I've got this one job that um, 
cycles. Uh, it's about a 30, used to be a 33 minute cycle. I've been able to get it down to 18 minutes, um, only using this thing for a couple weeks. Um, and if you watch this, you'll see it cutting uh, plywood at six inches per second um, and it's handling it um, pretty well. <laughs> Still have yet to really get to the limits of this thing, um, but uh, just to give you a jogging demo here. Uh, so normally with this, my old setup, the V4G, I jog maximum of five inches per second, usually a little bit slower. Um, you'll see here, I've got some rather high numbers here. I normally jog around 15 inches per second, but just for a fun little demo, uh, let's send it out to the other corner of the table at 23 inches per second. So this thing really, really moves. And we'll bring her back in here. So as you can see, quite a nice upgrade. Um, thank you to Gary for you know being patient with me and designing me a really nice setup and uh, if you guys have any questions on anything or how this uh, how this works or anything that I've designed legs vacuum anything like that I'm happy to share uh, any files or anything that I have thanks for watching